The state government has released its blueprint for a $15 million state-of-the-art veteran mental health precinct at Glenside. But supporters of the existing Door Park site say the move is unnecessary and the new centre will offer fewer services. Vassal Melandris reports. Major Bronson Huron was serving in Afghanistan in 2008 when his special ops task group was hit by an IED. The bomb killed his best friend Lieutenant Michael Fussell and left him with a traumatic brain injury and spinal damage. He was eventually sent to the Repat Hospital to have his physical and psychological wounds treated. I have very, very fond memories of that place, but unfortunately I had to go all throughout the Adelaide metro region to find all the other services that I required on my rehabilitation needs. His experience proved critical in advising a panel to sign off on the new post-traumatic stress disorder centre at Glenside that integrates mental health services such as sleep and pain management as well as the outreach group the retired officer formed called Soldier On. One former crusader for the Repat says he's convinced it's the right move. This site is the best site for the professional care of those veterans for whom we have deep regard and uh, all the doctors and the nurses that I've spoken to have come to the same view. Two disused buildings on Eucalyptus Drive will be demolished but the Health Minister says there'll be plenty of open space. The beautiful grounds of this place offer something that my generation is desperate for when it comes to our rehabilitation and that's the involvement of that little fellow there. However, critics say there's one major sticking point, most physical injuries will be treated elsewhere. And that's angered the REPAT supporters camped out on the steps of Parliament House. What are they thinking? It doesn't make any sense. It's just, it's an insult to the veterans of this state. There is no model around this country that can deliver all of those services on a single site. Work to remove the old buildings is expected to start within the next two weeks and the project will be completed by 2017. The RSL says it wants to see more detail but believes the process was thorough. Vassal Melandris, ABC News, Adelaide.